Hello everyone, this is Martin and welcome back to another weekly video for the trade signals I sent out last week from April the 25th to the 29th. Now I send out all my trade signals to all the people who are subscribed to my free trade signals program and uh, people who have emailed me. There's no obligation, no cost. So anyways, I want you to take a look right here at my trader friend. She seems surprised by another rainfall. The fifth time in five days and it's affecting her forex trading here in this part of the world and in many other locations the month of April signifies a time of consistent rain that doesn't seem to end significant rainfalls can alter your mood depending on your personality type if you're a pessimist or an optimist now just like in forex trading you've all heard the expression when it rains it pours you may feel this way if you have significant losses the important aspect of trading is how you react to your losses afterwards it's how you weather the storm if i can use this cliche successful traders need to control their emotions keeping them in check at all times evenly not extreme or too lax now april wasn't the best trading month but we did finish april with seven strong winners out of the last eight trade signals sent to you and the best part is take a look right here guys april showers brings may flowers okay so let's get started uh this is me right here my name is martin you can see down below i'm a proud canadian trader you can see with the red uh, maple leaf there and if you want to receive your free trade signals there's no obligation there's no form to sign there's no credit card there's nothing there's no obligation i'm going to send you the free signals all you have to do is tell me that you want them uh, and uh, send me an email to mine right here mskyj 7 at gmail.com i'll have more on this later on in the video now we are going to look at the charts okay uh this week we had uh, i sent you three different trade signals and uh we're going to take a look at the charts in just a moment but before i do that here is my humble disclaimer guys my free signal service is an educational program only i'm trying to teach you how to trade correctly and not give you any specific investment advice and part of teaching you how to trade correctly is proper trade risk money management and this is part of our uh, every si uh, trade signal i send out to you okay so let's take a look guys this is what happened april the 25th 29th i sent out three trade signals and you can see with the very first one on april the 25th i sent you out a signal sell british pound uh, versus the canadian dollar it was a win for 118 pips it went a little bit past our second take profit okay and the uh uh, the currency gained uh, on this trade 0.68%. Okay, so we got off the week to a really winning start. And uh, I want to let you know that we're trading on the daily chart. Some people are asking me, how come I don't offer any, like a lot more trade signals? It's because we trade off the daily charts. We're not intraday. We're not scalping. We're not trading off five minute charts. We're not trying to get in and out really quick. We actually take a trade in the evening after 5 p.m. when the, uh, that's the New York time zone. And uh, that's when the Asian session opens, okay? And then we generally hold on to the trade for the next day and some cases two or three days after that okay so keep that in mind okay now april the 26th the next day i sent you a sell british pound new zealand trade guys this was a loss okay and uh um, i don't think this was the best uh one of my best trade signals uh i'm going to review that with my vip members but uh we're going to look at the chart in just a moment so this lost approximately 110 pips guys price did hit our stop okay so we are well protected we did not allow our trade to uh become any worse or lose any more okay we uh we do trade with uh stop losses and like i said earlier in the video 
uh, trade management and uh, risk management is one of the most important aspects of trading. We, we treat this very uh, seriously. And with each signal I send out, I do give you the entries, the take profit levels and the stop losses. OK, so this currency loss is 0.57 percent. OK, then the next day. Uh, April the 27th, I sent out another signal to buy CAD Swiss franc, guys. This was a really good win right here for approximately 55 pips. It also did hit our second take profit level. The currency appreciated uh, 0.7%. 4%. So another really good win, guys. Okay, so all in all for this week, for the, this uh, week from April 25th to the 29th, we did make uh, 63 pips in total. It wasn't a lot of pips uh, because we did have this bigger uh, loss right here. I mean, we had 118 pips, one here, 55 pips here. We won, but we did lose 110 pips. So in total, we still gained 63 pips. The currencies appreciate it was 0.85% for the week. That's really good. And this is the important aspect. Since I've been keeping these specific stats from the beginning of October 21st, now that is 19 weeks, okay, 19 weeks ago, 19 trading weeks because there were some weeks we didn't trade uh we've now gained over 4325 pips that is phenomenal guys uh the total uh appreciation percentage is 28.87 percent on the currency pairs guys and we're averaging approximately 227 pips per week okay you can't complain with that okay and also one last thing before we now uh, switch to the charts i take all these trades so full transparency i take each and every trade signal i send out to you and guys when uh, when i win you win for the most part unless you're taking trades in a different fashion or a different time that i'm trading but um anyways um, the idea is I do take all of these trades alongside with you. Okay, so now let's take a look at the very first trade. Uh, that's the sell British pound CAD here on April the 25th. Now, this is what I saw when I first took the trade and I sent the signal to you. So this is my entry chart right here. You can see the signal. <clears throat> Let me just take a look. Uh, okay. The signal was a 1.6225. The, uh, I'm sorry, that's the entry uh, we got in at the end of that candle, end of this candle, or right there at the beginning of the next candle. This candle closed at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time zone, and then we get in after that. Now, I normally do, however, send a signal sometime after 6 or 6.30, even 7 p.m., uh eastern standard time zone so uh you can see the candle did not move much it went down down a bit and then came back up but we got in right there that was the signal i sent out to all the members watching this youtube uh, channel and receiving my free signal service here's our first stop loss 1.6157 our uh i'm sorry our take the take profit level our second take profit level 1.6114 so if price basically from here goes down uh, it will either hit our first or second uh, take profit level and of course right here guys is our stop loss so we got in here so you can see our stop is well behind and uh, we're well protected even if price goes up a bit and then starts coming down so we're well protected we're not going to get stopped out in uh, for most in most cases okay so this was our entry guys and let me close that down and uh, let's take a look to see what happened okay so again we got in right here OK, at the beginning of this candle and you can see on this day, actually the, the next day, the candle went all the way down and actually hit our first and our second take profit level. So we actually made our money the next day. Uh, price did uh, continue to go down, but the way we trade. Uh, most of our positions uh, are uh, we usually trade with two positions. Both were uh, most likely uh, 
uh, closed down in a really good profit there. So you can see uh, excellent, excellent trade, guys. Everything down below looks good. This is our cycle indicator, and you can see right here uh, we're cycling down. Price is cycling down. These are momentum histo bars. This is our momentum indicator, and we have a nice thick black histo bar showing a really good uh, a really good entry here. So uh, if you would have held on to the trade, yeah, you could have made a lot more money by allowing it to go all the way down here. Okay, so that's the British Pound CAD, guys. Let's continue on to the uh, next one, and this is the sell British pound New Zealand. Okay, so I'm going to open up my entry chart. When I was contemplating sending you the signal, this is what I saw, guys. And you can see I posted, uh, when I sent out the signal, I posted the entry at 1.9148. Here is our signal. It's This is called the signal candle. This is our entry candle right there, okay? So our signal candle, we did have a signal there. Uh, right here, the it, it's cycling down. Okay. However, this is the part that um, I didn't pay that much attention to, and uh, you can see that the momentum to the downside was not confirmed. Okay, and you'll see in a moment that price did reverse. But here's our entry. Here's our first take profit level, second take profit level, and our stop loss. Now, pay attention to the stop loss. Okay, I'm gonna re uh, I'm going to uh, mentioned again, it's uh, stop loss. Originally, when I sent you the signal, it was 1.9388. So it's quite a ways higher above our entry. Okay. So keep that in mind, 1.9388. Okay. Now let's just uh, uh, collapse this window. Okay. And I've got to, you know, minimize it. Okay. There we go. And this is what happened, guys. This is our entry again right there price did go down but went right back up again and that's uh, when it went down it actually was only a few pips higher than our first take profit of uh 190 62 it's too bad it did not go down just a few more pips and uh, then we would have made a really good profit but in in fact it re uh it retraced and it became a doji i asked everyone to just uh keep the trade open but uh the next day i did send out the email asking you to uh, lower your stop from 193.88 all the way down to here, 192.59. And the thing that, uh, and, and it did bother me, um, uh, on this candle, you can see this little white body candle, price did go from here all the way up. This was a huge move higher. It did stop us out because we did lower our stop, okay? But then the price came right back down here again, okay? Uh, so anyways, we did manage to um, uh, manage our risk at this level right here. Yes, we did lose a little bit over 100 pips, but guys, losing a little bit over 100 pips is better than, you see what happened here on this candle, okay? And you can see, let me just... Uh, Get my pointer here. You can see price from here went all the way up to here. And guys, this was a huge over 300 pip move higher. So now, uh, if we did not have moved, if we would not have moved our stop 193.88 lower to here, we would have been stopped out here, which would have been a lot worse than here. So this is uh, called risk management, and I did send you that email. Hopefully, you guys followed the instructions in the email. Okay, so let's get rid of this chart. This was a loser, unfortunately. And let's get on to the third trade of the week, and this was the buy Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Okay, let's open the entry window, guys. This is what I saw right here. Now, uh, here's the uh, signal. Okay, we have several signals here. Uh, the the um, uh, the line here, the um, cycle indicator is still above 50. Okay, but we do have a nice white bullish momentum, uh, white momentum histo bar here. So, uh, anyways, this is what I saw. This big, huge white uh, candle, bullish candle. 
and definitely I thought price was going to go higher. Here's our first take profit level, our second take profit level, and here is our entry and of course our stop back here well below the entry. So this is our entry. This is what I saw exactly just as I was sending everyone this signal. Okay, so let me just minimize this chart and let's see exactly what happened, guys. Okay, right here was our entry right there. Okay, you saw that on the, on the entry uh, window that I just uh, closed. This was our entry and guess what? Right away, the next day price went all the way up and hit our first take profit level of 0 0.7582. So off to a good start. The next day, okay, and and, and by the way, uh, hopefully you're following the uh, you're following my uh, uh, the process here. Once price hits the first uh, take profit level, the stop loss is automatically moved higher. Okay, it's automatically moved higher or manually moved higher to just a few pips above our original entry, which was 0 0.7554. So the next day, price went down a bit and then all the way up here, you can see, and closed uh, right there. However, as it was going up the next day, price did hit our, right here, our second profit uh, target of 0 0.7610, so right there. Uh, we got, uh, you know, price went up and hit our second take profit target for a really, really good, beautiful win. Okay. And uh, so congrats if you took this trade along with me. And so uh, in the week, we had uh, two winners, one loss. But over the last, over the last two weeks, we've now had seven out of eight trades. Seven were big beautiful winners okay so that is uh wonderful we're close we've closed the month of april in a winning way and now i get to the inspirational message guys and this is important just remember that a certain amount of rain is needed for all the crops flowers nature and humanity if you're in a part of the world that gets april showers then remember always remember how quickly it disappears until the next year. And if you're still depressed and your forex trading is not going so well, understand that there's a reason for this. There's a reason for that, guys. And what you need to do is learn from your mistakes and buy yourself a colorful um, umbrella, okay? So that is my inspirational message for today. VIP members, those people who are my VIP members, were asked to send in some of their trade ideas from last week. They're going to receive a separate video lesson as I evaluate and qualify their trades, okay? So that's it. Um, if you want to receive my basic free trade signals, if if you're new to this channel or you and you're watching this for the first time remember there's no obligation it's totally free nothing to sign there's no forms to fill in no credit card and there's no obligation and you can try out the signals and tell me that uh, um, and you can you you know you can try them out for as long as you want there's no uh, no charge okay so send me your email address also give me your first uh, name and what country you're from if you're watching this uh for the very first time so send your email letting me know you want the free trade signals to mine right here mskyj007 at gmail.com again it's mskyj 007 at gmail.com. I thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Cheers from Canada. I'll talk to you again in the next video next week, and we'll see what happened as we open up the month of May, guys. Click on the like button below. It lets it lets me know that I'm doing a good job, that at least you're learning something. And uh, guys, I really would appreciate that. So take care, and uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.